got me excited about Burning Man was uh, long-term friends telling me about this place and how crazy it was and what a different experience it was for over eight years and me always saying, no, I'm not going to do that. That's definitely not for me. But randomly ended up in Reno, got dragged along to Burning Man, almost kicking and screaming, not quite. Had the most life-changing experience. It was a specific day I remember really clearly when I got on my bike and I rode out on the deep player and it was really quiet and it was really surreal. I remember looking down and it suddenly came to me how much of a blank canvas the plier is. And that related quite strongly to where I was in my life at that time. I related it to, I was standing on a whole load of jagged pile of boxes underneath my feet. And each of these boxes was some kind of life experience or something that I was, that I had in my past. And I was just constantly shifting trying to find somewhere comfortable to stand on all these jagged corners and edges and never really looking what was going on around me. And from that, I realized that all these things that I've experienced in my past, whether they be good or bad, that you cling on to and you constantly refer back to when you're living your life, they don't have to be there. You can build them and you can enjoy them or hate them and then you can destroy them, and you can burn them, and you can erase them off the planet completely. Much the same as Burning Man does every single year. And the beauty of that is, you always come back to a blank canvas. And a blank canvas will give you the opportunity to build and create something new and beautiful all the time. I think that was the point where the inspiration hit me that I really wanted to do something because it was such a huge thing for me to realize that I wanted to express that in some way on the plier, if I could. My background being from the UK, I really wanted to um, plant something from where I'm from on the plier, and I have a strong heritage that I really like to bring to the plier. London BRC is gonna be three structures. We're gonna build them in phases, uh, depending on funding. The structure's gonna be uh, very iconic. They will be Houses of Parliament building with the uh, Elizabeth Tower, Big Ben, as everyone knows it as. Inside there's going to be four floors of rooms, totally interactive, an old-fashioned alehouse, a cinema theatre room, a working House of Commons, which we feel is the most exciting part of the Houses of Parliament, a space that's going to be energetic, vibrant, loud, open debates, planned debates, somewhere where people from all the way around the world can come and voice their opinions about things that maybe where they're from they're not allowed to do or they can't do or they just don't feel the confidence to talk about. Phase two would be um, Tower Bridge, the bridge that spans the Thames. It's a very iconic structure and something that people recognise really, really well. And this structure itself is going to be big, it's going to be impressive, it's going to be functional, it's going to open to let art cars pass through at specific times of the day. We'll have performance art on it, and you can sit there and dangle your feet off it and imagine you're looking down the Thames. Phase three is going to be Power of London, a huge structure in London that has got quite major historical value. It also exposes some of the darker sides of London's history with the dungeons, the major historical figures that have been held there, plus a huge viewing platform you can just sit on and view everything that's going around you. We're going to build a really big project and we're going to put a lot of detail and time and thought into it. And all that is free. But unfortunately, the build and the materials and the space that we need to do it is going to cost an awful lot of money. So the hardest bit is going to be funding. We need people to get as passionate about this as we are. And we need people to walk up to the structure and when they interact with it, that they know that this is something that they help build. So we need help with the money, whether it be a, a dollar, a thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars. It doesn't really matter. Every dollar is one dollar closer to fulfilling our passion and sharing our passion with everyone else on the player. Why should you help? Because I think when you walk up to London BRC and you appreciate 
what we've built and the size of this structure, that's going to be pretty impressive. But walking inside it and experiencing how much passion has gone into the build, how much thought process has gone into the build, and how much love and attention has gone into it over a very long period of time. And knowing that you yourself have actually helped to build this, I think is going to add tenfold to the experience. I truly feel that when you walk out there, it's going to be something that stays in your hearts and minds for years and years to come.